breaking news, Nigerians. As Atiku Abubaka heads to another court to appeal, Supreme Court judgment, Nigerians in shock as they react. This is getting tougher, Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Mati Aka, the head of Zinga Mu, campaign organization of Atiku Abubaka, says the former vice president has rejected yesterday's Supreme Court judgment and we appeal the case in the court of heaven. The Supreme Court on Thursday had upheld the victory of President Bola Tinubu in the February 25th presidential election, dismissing the appeals by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, and his Labour Party counterpart, Peter Obi. Marty, who spoke with Prime Times, said Atiku was hoping to get justice at the Supreme Court, but the Appeals Court failed. She revealed that, for the first time, Nigerians will see a divine intervention as Atiku heads to the Court of Heaven to appeal the case. These have gotten Nigerians talking. Court of Heaven, indeed, does God play as, as crass as words? Atiku go and mend your leaking roof and stay clear of troubling your mind. Court of Heaven will entertain Chicago State News. <laughs> the only heaven, heavenly judgment I know is the present hardship that all Nigerians are facing, and the same God is the only one who knows for how long this may last period. Tenable one at the Supreme Court, because the institutions in Nigeria, like the judiciary, are weak and controlled by whosoever sits as president. The institutions are puppets and can never be independent unless the system changes. Tinubu, despite his certificate forgery and drug peddling standards, will always win. The truth is that he will still win again if he buddhizes. He buddhizes his way into presidency again in 2027. But the Supreme Court has spoken. God is yet to speak. Hmm. Many people just think of Sidon. See, God is watching every affairs of men under the sun. There is a divine eye watching the affairs of men. Well, I think we thought that we in the South here are fools because there is always, there is always fight between the Igbos and the Yorubas. He decided to use Obi in 2019 he, to make play against Buhari. Why was he not serious like this in 2019? Thank God for Obi for countering him here in the South. Even though the Yorubas in the streets do not know what exactly happened in 2023 election, but the political class knows, taking advantage of our misunderstanding here in the South by nothing else must stop. Yes, the court of the sons of men has delivered judgment, but the Almighty God, who does not lie in the ultimate judgment, nothing will stop his judgment from coming down for sure, okay? There is no hope for a common man no, anymore. Any common man that's, that steals because of situation of whatever will be sentenced to death or go to prison with hard labor or killed. But hmm, God will answer them. Wala, wala. Okay. I support the article taking the case to God because there, there will be no delay or denier, some justice will, some will die by accident, and some will be permanently uh, as sick, including most politicians in office. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, 
This is the country we have found ourselves now. When uh, you see the truth glaring at you, but someone will be telling you, no, you are not seeing it. Somebody just pass. It'd be like Indian film. Somebody pass. They say, no, you don't see her. Before you go look again, they say, ah, you don't pass, you don't see her. That is exactly what they are playing out in Nigeria. Whether we like it or not. Whether we like it or not. You see, God, it has a way of doing things. Though. It's not the way you think. If you feel because this is going to favor you and you are not talking about the truth, before now Nigeria had a constitution, let me put it that way, we had a con constitution and these constitutions stipulate this, this, and this and that and all that. But as it is right now, it seems that Nigerian constitution does not abide us again. You see these people who are the custodians of the law. They don't they twist them. They don't bend and finish. Everything don't scatter. You see, you cannot understand why Nigerians are like, oh, it's on the judiciary. We are watching you because they know what these people can do. And that is why they are telling them all those things. If not, you don't supposed to tell a judge what he knows already. You don't supposed to remind them what they know already. But Nigerians are doing that because of what has happened before and the way the system has rotten. That is why they are like reminding them. You understand? It's so really very, very shameful. Well, guys, I think what Abubakar have said he has dragged President Bola Metinubu and the Nigerian Supreme Court to heavily court to judge. Well, <laughs> They say God's, judge, uh, God's court is the final, not even the Supreme Court, because God get as it take, take the judge in own. So guys, let's hear from you. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section, please? Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.